Anything that contains mushrooms isn't technically plant-based. Fungi are closer to animals than they are to plants. This is a fabulous classic shower thought that unfortunately a lot of people will scroll past not getting because a shocking number of people think mushrooms are plants. To be fair if we're talking food, then by that particular cultural language we're hardly ever consistent. Example obsolete food pyramid has eggs as part of the dairy group and beans as part of the meat group tomatoes are technically fruit but we call it vegetables. And even more crazy, tomatoes are actually berries while most of the berries aren't berries at all. Strawberries are accessory fruits. A banana is a berry. This is actually cool. Nice post. What if there is some bacteria on the sandwich? Somebody has been watching Netflix documentaries on proteins. Salt is also not technically a plant. To be fair, it wasn't until the 1960s that fungi were removed from the plant kingdom. Scientists decided that they were different enough from all the other plants that they deserved their own kingdom. Even though the taxonomical definition says they aren't plants, it makes sense that other contexts would hold on to the idea that they are plants. If the majority of the product is plant-based, and it contains mushrooms, it's still plant-based. It's the same as saying an onion bagel is bread-based. Mushrooms are alien penises. Op sounds like a fun guy. Fungi are also omnivores. They eat plants and dead flesh. So fungi are flesh eaters. Mushrooms proving that nature's sense of humor is as unpredictable as our food labels. Guess it's more of a fun guy than a plant, huh? LOL. True, mushrooms are actually fungi, not plants. They're often included in plant-based diets for their versatility and nutritional value, but they don't fit the strict botanical definition of plant. Technically, yes, but for the purpose of categorizing food it is. It's the whole almond milk isn't really milk thing, but actually is milk, as a lexicon communication. It's organized as, applied in different diets as such, and much of its utility in cooking is based on the understanding that it is plant-based. We can get ultra-specific with strict definitions of something, but the masses' understanding of something will always supersede a clinical description of something. Tomatoes are sold as a vegetable, oat milk is in the dairy section, and mushrooms are sold as a plant. Technically speaking, fungus has more in common with animals than it does plants. SHHHH don't tell the vegans what a mushroom is. Are we also going to go down a road where the plants we eat aren't really vegetables? And thusly, no one can really be a vegetarian. This is a thing that irritates the fuck out of me. Why should stores be able to sell mushroom jerky as plant-based? Fuck me, I ought to be able to sell regular burgers as plant-based, then. I think you're struggling to understand the definition of based. Simply containing mushrooms doesn't make it fungi-based. If the main ingredient is something like soy and simply flavored with mushrooms, it's still plant-based. I got downvoted to oblivion for commenting about this in a diet sub. Someone posted 100 plant-based bacon that was actually mushrooms. I guess that works for marketing, but it does feel pretty dumb lol. Yeah if you're a pedant. Since fungi are so much closer to animals than plants shouldn't vegans be unallowed to consume them? Are technically the truth. Additionally, you can't truly call yourself vegetarian if you eat dairy or eggs, as neither of those things are vegetation. Edit you're booing me because I'm right. Stay mad. That actually blew my mind just now. Fungi base sounds gross. Well to be honest. Burger King does market burgers containing real cheese as plant-based. I'm going to be honest. I don't care what the science says I think that mushrooms are plants. I mean you find them at the vegetable department in the supermarket. It's a plant in the food sense, not in the biology sense. 
botanical definitions and culinary definitions are really just two different languages. A tomato is a vegetable and you can make a fruit pie with rhubarb. Strawberry are considered a berry, fish are not meat and a dozen other taxonomy and nomenclature oddities. Mushrooms are plants in the same way that chicken is meat IMO. Fungi are their own kingdom separate from plants and animals. Fungi produce medicine, make beer and bread, feed us, and open our minds. Anything that contains mushrooms can still be plant-based, it just isn't only plants. You can still have a plant base for a fungi or animal dish. Plant-based consisting largely or solely of vegetables, grains, pulses, or other foods derived from plants, rather than animal products. Pizza with mushrooms is still plant-based. Now, if only the Japanese restaurants around me knew this. Mushrooms are not vegetables and should be listed separately on the menu. Pain of having a mushroom allergy. Guess I'll have to rethink my mushroom stuffed veggie burgers if fungi are closer to animals, I hope they don't judge me for my culinary choices. So you're telling me that if something is 90 plants and 10 fungi that it's not plant-based? What a stupid shower thought. This doesn't make any sense. Adding mushrooms to a food that is plant-based does not disqualify the food as being plant-based. Just as adding onions to a burger does not disqualify the burger as being meat-based. Also, how they are commercially grown. It's with the sawdust from chicken farms often with dead chickens, shit etc. You're right mushrooms aren't plants they're fungi, which technically makes them the rebels of the plant-based world. This is honestly the best shower thought I've seen on here. May you be woken up to fellatio for the next 10 years. A lot of vegetarian and vegan foods also contain yeast. If you want to get technical, most breads are not plant-based either, as they use yeast. Also no honey, no kombucha, no vinegar, no alcohol. Lots of soy sauces, straight to vegan jail. Hell no tempeh even. Plant-based means by definition consisting largely or solely of vegetables. Not exclusively plants technically even something with meat could be considered plant-based, but nobody would ever say that. Way too many people on here that don't understand the word based. Counter shower thought for you maybe plant-based isn't the term that encompasses what you think it does despite the name? Maybe there's a lot more names and descriptions that we should consider with more incredulity since there's no real world word police to keep it in check. Maybe that based is doing a lot more heavy lifting than we all want to really give credit to. Just a thought though lol. I love being pedantic as much as the next person, but I'm out on this one. Can't it be based on a plant and contain other things that aren't plants, like mushrooms, and still be plant-based? Not animal-based is such a long, ugly phrase that I'm willing to leave mushrooms in the plant kingdom. What percentage are we talking here? A salad plus bacon is still plant-based my friend. Should have been our change me view. Well they are vegetables. Proof they are often part of vegetable pan recipes. I disagree with y'all's definitions plants non-sentient living things that don't do anything but grow and reproduce without moving. Most clams are also plants, fungi is definitely plants. Just because its DNA is different from other plants doesn't make it not a plant, it behaves like a plant so it's a plant. It depends on how you classify life forms across different disciplines of legality, etymological, biology, and most importantly marketing the term plant-based is nonsense. Pigs are plant-based FFS. You might as well ponder the efficacy of a contains zero reptile sticker on chicken sandwiches. Sure, it'd be incorrect, but you'd have to pull an iguana corpse out your chic filet sauce to win a lawsuit over the phrase, contains zero reptile dot. Animal Vegetable, mineral. Mushrooms are definitely not animal or mineral. Not really, you don't seem to understand what based means. Someone on a plant based diet can still eat meat or mushrooms. And a plant based dish doesn't have to consist of only plant ingredients.